So a couple days ago, I posted a two minute video that lost me hundreds of subscribers. Literally all I said in the video was that I was doing a charity stream on Twitch for World Central Kitchen and that I was going to be doing a cosplay of one of my favorite characters, Lady Dimitrescu from the game Resident Evil Village or as uh, many of you on the internet may know her as the uh, tall vampire mommy. Maybe you saw memes on social media. The charity stream was a big success by the way, $31,000 raised for World Central Kitchen and uh, our goal was 35,000 but I had been going for like seven hours and I got really tired, I got a migraine and I decided to end it early. But we're gonna be trying to hit that $35,000 goal in my streams this week, which by the way are tonight, Tuesday night and Thursday night, um, five to nine central, so. We'll be, we'll be hitting that goal no matter what. I was kind of disturbed the next day when I woke up and I checked my analytics on YouTube and I saw that I had lost hundreds of subscribers. Now I've been doing this a long time, 11 years, and I've never lost subscribers on a video, much less hundreds of them. My attitude about it is that I am frustrated and disappointed because nobody likes to see that they've lost hundreds of subscribers, but ultimately, good rinse to those people. I'm less frustrated that they left and more frustrated that they were here in the first place because well, I've had to do some introspection because I felt like I had made my values and principles clear enough, but I guess, I guess I didn't. And so that's partially why I'm making this video as kind of a response is because I want to make sure that um, I'm clearly communicating who I am as a person and, and, and what I stand for. So um, I'm not going to be focusing too much on the negative feedback. Um, at least not individually, because I feel like that would be giving them more attention than they're worth. So I've 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 done a lot of charity work over the years. I've uh, I've raised actually almost half a million dollars uh, over the past six years doing uh, charity streams, and most of that has been within the past two years since the pandemic. I have always gone all out for these charity streams. In uh, spring of 2020, when I did my first big one, we raised about $30,000, I shaved my beard. We did that one for direct relief, if I remember correctly. And uh, I mean, I did all sorts of other stuff. I shaved my head for uh, local food banks. I um, took a pie to the face at one point, I believe that was for hurricane relief. I ate uh, a dozen of Buffalo Wild Wings, Carolina Reaper wings live on stream. Um, you know, I just, I was always trying to do something that would make people get excited about charity because it's hard to make people excited about charity. I found um, as someone who's done uh, like 20 of these things by now, it's hard to get people excited about this. It's hard to get people to tune in. Um, and so I always tried to provide some amount of spectacle as much as I could for, for these charity streams. And I came upon a good way to do that. Last December, we were doing a stream for the Trevor Project. And uh, I decided, you know, as my big final stream of the year, I was going to do a cosplay of my favorite Dead by Daylight character, Yoomjin. The fundraiser was an instant success. I was amazed. I believe we raised $50,000 in like six hours or something crazy like that. I had never seen us raise that much money before or that quickly. And so after the stream, I was like, okay, taking notes here. You guys like the female cosplays. So I'm gonna do that from now on. Uh, this spring, I did another cosplay for Kate Denson from Dead by Daylight. Uh, I did Ada Wong in October when we raised money for Animal Defense League of San Antonio, of Texas rather. And this month I did Lady Mitrescu. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make the cherry streams as effective as possible, but it's not a masochistic exercise either because the cosplays are not only A, effective, but B, they're really fun. Uh, it's been really fun cosplaying these characters and looking completely different, feeling completely different uh, as these characters and really getting into uh, like a detailed, put, putting together a detailed representation of, of their character and I've gotten to work with my wife really closely on that. She's done my makeup for 
for these characters. She's done the eyebrows and stuff. I wouldn't know the first thing about that. You know, usually I put together the outfit and Kimmy puts together uh, uh, the face for it. And uh, it's it's difficult. It's, it's a lot of effort and time and energy put into these, but it's really fun. And I mean, I think it's gonna be a mainstay of my cherry streams in the future. So it's, you know, I don't wanna make it sound like it's just like, oh, I'm just sitting there suffering through it. It's really fun as well. I was under the impression that this was kind of known on my uh, on the YouTube side of my audience because Sunday's video wasn't the first time that I showed myself in cosplay on my YouTube channel and it's not the first time I showed it in a thumbnail either. In fact, the thumbnail for the clip montage that I posted last year for 2021 was me in the thumbnail as Yoonjin. And there was uh, footage in the video as well of me in cosplay. So, you know, like I said, I felt like I had made it kind of obvious, uh, you know, over the past year that I was doing this, but I guess I didn't make it obvious enough. Um, some of the some of the negative comments, like I said, there weren't like a ton of them, but some of them were pretty funny. Some people went through uh, all of the comments that were positive about my appearance, and they would reply like, "Ew." <laughs> or gross it's like okay dude we get it you're revolted by me well that makes two of us because i'm kind of revolted by you too um like i said i don't want to give them too much individual attention but some of them were were quite funny um some of them were like that and then some of them went on these like paragraph rants it was just like take a chill pill right but uh, i was still i was still surprised to see that much pushback about something that was completely wholesome and innocent on 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 all levels i think it's important to know you know i don't want to make i don't want to make it out like i'm some kind of victim here who went through like a, a hard time on this on this video because you know as um as repugnant as some of the feedback was and as hard as it was to see you know going into the red for the entire month um and subscribers just from one video um, this is just a cosplay for me. I'm just, I'm just a straight guy that cosplays as female characters for charity. But for the non-binary and trans population, it's not a cosplay that they can take on and off. Um, it's their lives. And they get revolting and repugnant comments like this every day. And so I just wanted to let everyone in the non-binary and trans community know that, you know, I I stand with you and I'd like to make the announcement now ahead of time that my next charity stream coming up in 2023 in the spring is going to be for Trans Lifeline, which is a great charity. I encourage you to look into it. We're going to be trying to go all out for that one, raise as much money as we can, like we do with all the others. But, um, I figured this was a good time to just announce that ahead of time. It's uh, I don't have an exact date yet, but it's probably going to be February or March, um, and I'll start planning my next my next cosplay for that now. It's funny I've probably gotten the most negative feedback um, on my on my charity announcements um, because this actually isn't the first time that I've uh, made an announcement about a charity stream and gotten and gotten some some ruffled feathers. Last year we did a fundraiser for uh, Stop API Hate, that was in 2021. And in 2020, we did a fundraiser for Color of Change, which is a civil rights group. And I remember announcing those charity streams and getting some people in the comments that were uh, upset about the liberal charity. Um, but you know, I've done tons of other charity streams too, uh, for hurricane relief, local food banks, I mean, you name it, and, uh, I never see those people around for those, so it's not like, it's not like they put their money where their mouth is anyway, so I just haven't been listening to them. I try to make sure that the charities that I pick are a good mix between humanitarian aid and, uh, social reform, and I'm happy to continue alternating between the two. So yeah, that's uh, that's basically my video on the incident. The incident, the controversial incident where John showed up on a video dressed as a woman raising money for charity. How controversial. You know what, if that's my biggest controversy, I'll take it. I'm doing pretty well in that case. 
So hopefully this was an enlightening video for you. Hopefully it clarified some things. Uh, and if you come out of this thinking negative things about me, then uh, the door is right there. I can't tolerate being guilted or made to feel bad for doing good things in the world. Objectively good things. And I'm not gonna stand for it anymore. So uh, like I said, the door is right there. I don't care, um, you know, I'm not gonna hit a million subscribers for another like five years anyway at the rate I'm going. So what do I care if the number goes down a little bit more? Um, but I did, you know what? I, I, there's a lot of new people in the audience actually from Twitter because I posted about it and I had kind of a viral post and a lot of people, new people come over. So welcome, you know, this isn't what we normally do for videos. I normally play video games and uh, recently been trying to get into doing uh, movie and TV reviews. Um, I did a review for, for Netflix's Resident Evil and back in October, but uh, yeah, we normally don't do this many vlogs. Um, but yeah, just I felt like this was an important one to, to get some clarification on and to, to get out there and make sure that everyone knows where I stand on this shit. I'm not very good about talking about this stuff. I know I'm saying um and like a lot, but what can you do? It's just me sitting in a room alone talking to myself, so. <laughs> Sorry it's not Toastmasters, Mr. Ted Talk over here. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off now, but thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Think critically.